Good morning, and it is a very, very good morning because today we're here at what is a truly a world-class attraction. We're in Atlanta, Georgia at the Georgia Aquarium, my favorite aquarium I've ever been to, and it's, it's, it's not even close. In this, it, we haven't been here in four or five years. No, I remember coming here whenever it first opened, and then I've been here four or five other times. But now there's a brand new shark exhibit that opened a couple years ago mm -hmm. that looks fantastic. And I can't wait to see the whale sharks and the penguins and all that fun stuff. All right, I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Let's go explore the Georgia Aquarium. Upon entering the Georgia Aquarium, the first thing you're greeted with is this fun jellyfish enclosure. Done up in all the different shades of the rainbow. A very big enclosure for jellyfish as well. Yeah. After scanning our ticket, you, we are in the grand atrium here of the Georgia Aquarium. Uh, we got here right when it opened on a Monday morning, so it is not overly busy. From the main atrium, you can see the entrances to all the different exhibits mm -hmm. in the aquarium. Now, Molly, I think where we're gonna go first is the shark exhibit. We have the newest one since we've been here. Yeah, I believe it opened in late 2020. Mm -hmm. and was a hundred million dollar expansion. Yep. And into the exhibit we go. The entryway has some really cool screens with all sorts of sharks on it. And that there is the first one we see. I believe it is a uh, sand tiger shark in a exhibit. I'm sure we get uh, plenty of views in this enclosure. Here you can see a very large hammerhead shark swimming around. The, the larger hammerhead sharks are not one you'll find in many aquariums either. So that's uh, really kind of a treat to see those. Looks like they have a, a bunch of them. They're so cool. Yeah. In this one end of the shark exhibit, you can see a giant school of swirling fish. Gotta be 500 or 1,000 fish just swimming around in a big old circle. Pretty mesmerizing. Now we are as close as you can get to that big school of fish. And something, Molly, you just pointed out that I yeah, think is really I nice. Really like. They have uh, reserved viewing areas for those guests Snapchat with uh, special mm -hmm. needs. You just Snapchat me. Oh, sorry. The final room in the shark area is a big dome where the sharks can swim over you, and there's a glass wall in front of you. The next exhibit is Ocean Voyager, which is by far the most famous and the star of the show here at the Georgia Aquarium. And we have made it to the enclosure, swimming way up there towards the top. That is a whale shark. And this is one of the largest aquariums in the entire world. Tons of fascinating animals in here. Uh, whale sharks, manta rays, sea turtles, among hundreds of other fish. We've got to the next part of the Ocean Voyager, which does feature a moving pathway for some of it. A moving pathway, a fancy one that goes around corners, and it does have a giant underwater tunnel. Oh, good timing. As the whale shark is swimming overhead. That is so cool. Yes, they are, they are just massive, massive animals. And followed by the manta ray. That, that timing worked out pretty good. And there are all sorts of different animals in here, like hanging out down on the bottom. I believe that's a giant goliath group. Look at the mouths. There overhead is a green sea turtle. The zebra shark is right up close to the glass. There are seven different types of sharks in this exhibit. Now the giant manta ray is swimming right above me. A different outlook here into a bubble that points upward. Also smart to come into every different alcove because there's so many fish in here that different ones like to hang out in different spots. This section of the ocean voyage is kind of done up like a, a shipwreck. Now see in this area smaller fish can get in here but some of the bigger guys cannot. There are some fun visuals from this uh, bubble outlook in the shipwreck section. We have now, now made it to the end of the Ocean Voyager exhibit, which is home to this incredible window. Uh, Got to be 
probably 60 feet long by 30 feet tall. We learned uh, manta rays wingspan can be 30 feet. Yeah. Which is crazy. The one in the exhibit, the largest one is a 17 foot wingspan. But uh, I, I love this part of the aquarium. It's my favorite section. You can sit down and watch. Yeah. It is uh, just so wonderfully relaxing and beautiful. Next stop is Cold Water Quest. One of the first things you get to is the rocky beach tide pools. Hope you anemones, sea stars, and urchins. I do think it's cool looking at the starfish, especially when they're not fully attached to the wall like that. Enclosure is a kelp forest. The favorite fish of mine in here is that guy hanging out in the back. That is a California sheephead. These guys here are giant Japanese spider crabs. Swimming around down there is one of my favorite animals, the otter. These ones, these are southern sea otters. Coming along the uh, central coast of California. Be pretty adorable to see just swimming around. Cute little faces. Uh, this is a treat. The giant Pacific octopus is moving around. These animals don't tend to move a lot. Normally they hide out in small spaces. There are some neat rock fishes here as well, but the octopus has stopped moving. He does kind of blend in with the rock for over there on the edge of the enclosure. So if you're coming to the aquarium, take a look over there. This might be where he's hanging out or in some other small spot. A beautiful animal in this enclosure. These fun looking guys are weedy sea dragons. <laughs> Not very close, hanging out on the back of the exhibit, is the fun looking big bellied seahorse. It's very interesting that they're the largest but fastest swimming seahorses. I wouldn't think that. No, not with that. They don't look very aerodynamic. No. These are Pacific Sand Dollars. Right now we're beak to beak with a puffin. Look at the way that he's sitting. If you come over here, you can see his paw, like thin out, like so leg. Feet? Yeah. As you continue through the enclosure, you do get a second view of some of the animals. And uh, here we can see it's feeding time for the sea otter. I love watching these guys eat because they use their little bellies as tables to eat clams and other things. And we've made it the greatest animal in all of time and space, the penguin. What do you think of penguins? Here at the Georgia Aquarium they have African penguins and they're so adorable. And there's a penguin tunnel you can crawl into to get a really good view. And here are the penguins, the penguins, the penguins, the penguins, there's Molly, and there's Keeper, and more penguins. Now as a grown man, I'm assuming this tunnel will not be the most comfortable thing to go into, but i well, got to try it for the penguins. This would be a, a great time for a penguin to come swimming by. Oh, oh, they are coming by. Fantastic. Oh, penguins are the best. I am now in one of the pups, right next to a little penguin. You can see them doing some cleaning. And a penguin waddling right next to me. Oh, he's cool. Oh my goodness, what these are. <laughs> waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> The Georgia Aquarium does offer a lot of upcharge experiences. There's a sea otter encounter, there's behind the scenes tours, you can meet some of the animals, and I think if you want to spend a lot of money, you can even go swimming with the whale sharks. <laughs> some of the largest animals here at the Georgia Aquarium are the beluga whales. They do have a bottom floor and top floor. Yeah. I like this one over here who's playing with his enrichment toy. Yeah. <laughs> Very peaceful 
creatures to watch. Look at the bubbles. Time to head to Dolphin Coast. Up these escalators. Molly, you won't believe what you can find here in Dolphin Coast. Oh my god. Sea lions? Nope, dolphins. Ah. There's a big dolphin enclosure. And there's also a dolphin presentation. They have a lot of dolphins. Oh wow. The dolphin presentation is held in this massive, massive arena, the biggest arena at the Georgia Aquarium, and the presentation is a 15-minute show called Dolphins in Depth, and it's pretty much a pretty standard dolphin show. If you want to see dolphins doing all their dolphin things and jumping out of the water, you are going to enjoy it, and I thought it's pretty solid. Next up is River Scout, which has a really cool entrance. First exhibit over here is dedicated to the fish of the Amazon. The second enclosure is much larger, and this is dedicated to the cichlids, which are found in Africa. It's a very, very pretty enclosure for sturgeon and gar. There are bubbles you can crawl into, and I love the design where the fish can go above you to this tree. selection of rainbow fish. In this enclosure you can find two different species of turtles. They're native to Georgia. In this area of the aquarium you're kind of surrounded by fish. You've got archer fish and others down here. And then if you look above you, there are alligators. for a, a very interesting type of fish. Those are elephant nose fish. And the Congo River, I think? Yeah. Look at that. For sure, the highlight of this enclosure is in the back there. That is a fire eel. Really fascinating color. Swimming around down there very fast. Those are the Asian small clawed otters. My personal favorite species of otters. They are small and they are adorable. They're also very, very quick. These are uh, very, very fast little guys. Next up, we're heading into Truist Pier 225, which is where the seals and sea lions are. I can see some of them swimming over there. Before you head into the sea lion show, there are some animatronics in the waiting area. It's an animatronic pelican that I guess tells fortunes. The sea lion presentation is done in a very kind of small and intimate venue. Now it does have some sight line issues, but with being a small venue, you could get really, really close to a sea lion, which is just really awesome. I enjoy the show better than the dolphin show, and you get to hear all about the sea lions and their backstories, as a couple of them are rescues, and some really sad rescue stories too. You're just like, oh, I want to just give that sea lion a hug. But anyway, a very solid show. Next up, Tropical Diver. First enclosure you get to is Volcanic Island. And a little bit behind the scenes, you can see some divers in here cleaning the enclosure. I love this tank. Look at the lionfish and the moray eel popping out of the pipe. Multiple moray eels. 
we got a multiple pipe. Why is there a pipe open? It's always fun to see the mores out of the tubes and just swimming around. Also, some really great pop ups in this enclosure for you to get pictures. Also, saw a pufferfish earlier. The update found the pufferfish. Some mesmerizing white spotted jellyfish. Which is apparently an invasive species of jellyfish. Oh. Getting up close to some of the Pacific sea nettles. And there's a spectacular coral reef tank with some epic music. A really fun enclosure themed to a shipwreck. I always think these guys are so cool. These are garden eels. Um, they hang out in the sand, so that way if there's a predator coming, they dip all of their bodies right back into the sand. Like you see how this guy is just barely out right there, where the ones in the back are completely out. On the second floor, there is a touch tank with stingrays. Second level, there is also an electric eel exhibit. They're pretty active for electric eels. A lot of times you just see them lounging on the bottom of an enclosure. It appears there's two ways to get over towards the gators. The pathway or the bridge. I opted for the fun bridge. It's actually rather shaky. And before you get to the alligator area, you do get a second level view of the river scout exhibit. In a wonderfully themed enclosure, you get the alligators, including the rarer albino alligators. We've also got a couple of them in the water. Molly, I'm sad that none of the alligators are in this boat filled with water. That would be pretty amazing. <laughs> they have a Jurassic World uh, cup over there and a advertisement for one of their brewery partnerships. I would love this. An alligator IPA brewed with pineapple? Absolutely. You would get that. I love the Georgia Aquarium. I'm assessing this next section won't be my favorite. Incredible insects. Oh, do you know what? It's not actually... It's just like, um, it's not live bugs. Just, not yet. You can learn about bugs. There's also a section with a buttons that say, what sound do the animals make? <laughs> River otter is kind of talking adorable squeaks. Heading into the Discovery Zone vault. This exhibit has some of the tiniest fish you'll find at the aquarium. Little tetra fish. There's another enclosure for anemones. Also interesting, it shows you how the life support and the filtration tanks work. Apparently, Georgia Aquarium life support systems are approximately 74 miles of piping. Oh. Posing for us is a little tiny wood frog. Hopping around there, that is a Baja Blue Rock Lizard. And the common chukwa are these two species. Look at him, he's like he's punching the glass. He wants out. He wants out. We can take him home. Okay. He'll fit, fit in well in Florida. It did take us a couple minutes to find the praying mantis, who is on the ceiling. There are a couple of very pretty fish in here, like the turkey fish. Very peaceful. These are discus fish. Very colorful frogs. Very neat section here dedicated to bioluminescent beings. So like like what exists on Pandora. This is a pretty fascinating view. This is the above ground view of the Ocean Voyager. The uh, the 6.3 million gallon aquarium we showed you earlier. 
it's uh you really get a scale of just how big it is from up here. Mm -hmm. And there you can see one of the whale sharks swimming right on by. There's a fun tunnel and blacklight area. As I'm guessing, we're leaving this section. On the second level, for an upcharge, you can do virtual reality. It is $11 for the virtual reality simulators. On the second level, there is a 4D theater that's included with your admission here. Now, I do want to make a note that any of the presentations you do need to make reservations for, they are free, and you can make them in the aquarium after you come in. We're back in the main atrium area. Now, we enter the aquarium at about 9 a.m. The first hour of the day is a sensory inclusive aquarium. So there's no music, and obviously they don't do the big projections in here. Made it nice and quiet. One thing, we've been in here a couple of times, did not notice there's a koi pond in here. No, I had no idea. This is pretty neat. On the second level, by the food court area, there's what they call a charging lounge, where they just have lots and lots of phone chargers hanging out for you to, uh, if you need to power up your devices. And watch a video with penguins on it. Hey Molly, what time is it right now? Uh, beer 30. Beer 30 indeed. Uh, they didn't have the alligator one. No, they didn't. But they did have the Atlanta Brewing Company's Georgia Aquarium One Ocean Golden Ale. Uh, it's a beer with penguins on it, so couldn't pass that up. It has a little whale shark. No, that's not a whale shark. It's a song. Yeah, it is. Right there. Oh, yeah. And uh, we had a little, little cause for celebration while we were here at the Georgia Aquarium. In the loop hit 110,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I figured a celebration beer was in order. Yeah. And like all attractions, it must end with a gift shop. They do have some uh, some pretty nice shirts and stuff. So it makes sense that a you know world class attraction like this would have some some pretty solid merchandise lines. Like that one, Molly. I can see myself wearing that shirt. Oh yeah, that's a very huge. Shirt. Molly, I like this. They have merchandise for all the different beers. So the uh, One Ocean Golden Ale that we had. There's a hammerhead hoppy lager, wabagong wheat. That's great. I mean, what'll obviously be the best beer they offer, the Penguin Pale Ale. All right, and that'll do it for our time at the Georgia Aquarium. An amazing place. Yes, easily the best aquarium. It's, I've it's been not to. even not even close. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's also a, a long experience. We were there for four hours. Mm -hmm. We got there at nine. We left around one. Um, not a cheap experience though. This is a $40 aquarium to get into. If you pre-purchase your parking, it is $12 to park your car. I do feel like they give back the money though to the animals. You see expansions. Oh yeah. The shark exhibit was amazing what they just created. I mean, if, uh, they spent a hundred million dollars on it. It, 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 it shows. And, yeah. And the whole place just, it looks pristine. Like everything's in such good shape. They've got great both paid staff and volunteers. So if you have questions about the animals, you can learn quite a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite exhibit? Uh, the shark exhibit. I hadn't seen that. Uh, uh, it's for, new, of course. And for me, it's definitely the Ocean Voyager. Yeah. With the whale sharks. The whale and sharks. That, that one giant room. Oh, my gosh. All right. So that's a, a great place. Love, love, love the Georgia Aquarium. Can't wait to my next visit. And if you have any questions about the Georgia Aquarium, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching this video.